Now that we're all done hanging the drywall, it's time to start the whole process of mudding and taping. And yes, we have seen everyone's comments suggesting that we do not do this, so we've decided that we're gonna do it. <laughs> this is just, you know, part of the whole process. One of the things that we love about building our home is getting to learn all the different steps. And I know I've seen a lot of people say, you know, it's an art form, all this stuff. But then I think about how far we've come and everything that we've built thus far. I feel like it's all been a form of art in a way, you know? The carpentry, the welding, the caulking, the painting. And just to see how it's all come together. And this job is no exception. So I am so excited to get into it. So what we're going to do is start on the master bedroom closet since it's okay if this room does get messed up. I mean, if it does get messed up, we will fix it. But just in case, you know, this room has the water here that's gonna be framed out. It's going to have all of the shelving and clothes hanging in here, so it doesn't really matter. So I think this is the perfect place to learn. First things first is mix up some quick set. I'm just using 90 minute mud to go through any of the big gaps and fill those. So um, I, I, I'm a little terrified just because uh, obviously we've never done this before, but consistency of the mud. I don't know. I know it's got to be a creamy, <laughs> creamy texture. But, a creamy texture. But uh, I, don't, I don't really know. So uh, I guess this is just going to be a learning curve. And that's why we're in the closet first. You know what? If anyone can figure this out, it's you. It's above. <laughs> Ready? Yep. So sorry. <laughs> so sorry. So starting in this closet, uh, one of the first things I need to take care of is some of the ripped paper. Now, when we bought all our drywall, we bought it in increments of 26, like a, a stack uh, of drywall. And with that came, you don't know what you got other than seeing what you got on the outside. So obviously some of the pieces got some form of moisture with it between them. So whenever you remove them from each other, that just caused friction and uh, softened the paper and just allowed the paper to uh, tear. So I have to kind of go through and fix some of those uh, worst, uh, worst spots. Obviously for the closet, I just save, try to use as many of those in here as much as possible because most of the walls are gonna be covered anyway, so it didn't really matter. So yeah, now I have the fun task of trying to uh, repair all this brand new drywall. Mm, of course. So another thing that I've learned in the whole drywall process for not getting cracked joints is to cut out where the two pieces meet. So whether it be in a corner or whatever, if they're too tight, you can't get any mud in there and that can lead to a uh, crack in the drywall, like a crack in the mud. I don't know if corners are a one of the true issues because I know paper tape is going to be over that, but at least as right. far as um, butt joints. It's a good practice. It's a good practice. Yeah, you definitely want to make sure your butt joints don't have a crack. We just had to come into the house because there's a tornado warning.
Getting to watch the lightning through the windows of the home that we've built together is one of the coolest feelings. However, since it is common for springtime to bring tornadoes, we do plan on eventually building a storm shelter. But for now, I'm just glad we can get out of the cargo trailer and feel safe inside our strong shipping containers. Okay, so one last thing that we're gonna do before we start mudding is uh, go through with a primer. And it's a shellac based primer and just go over any of those tears just so those tears don't really show through. This makes me really nervous applying anything to these walls. I really hope this all turns out well. <laughs> sure it will. Chapstick and <laughs> lotion. That's because it's mine. <laughs> hey, it's better than nothing. Alright, so what are we going for here? Smooth and creamy, I know. Smooth and creamy. Okay. I'll mix that and see how it looks. And go from there. Personally, I think this might be a little uh, watery just because it seems to travel down the side of the bucket a little oh. too easy. Okay. So that means, obviously, it would it's probably travel down the wall a little easy. Right. Well, that doesn't sound good. All right, are you ready? Mm, I think so. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> All right. It's just to get into the Hi. Yeah, so this is just the big gap filler. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. This is going to take forever. Well, we just gotta take it one room at a time <laughs> and we'll get it done. So far, this first corner is just looking fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> It's okay to me. Me too, but I have no clue what I'm talking about. I know, the pros are probably like, oh my god. I know, everyone that watches this that does drywall is probably like, oh Dear goodness. God. <laughs> so uh, we're going for a level five finish here, right? Yeah. <laughs> You can hear Spencer's over there right now making another mixture for the big gap filler. He's almost done. He still has just some up top to finish up. And then once he's done with that, we can start on mixing the other mud and the whole taping process for all these joints and finally get all these screws covered. And there's a lot of them. <laughs> you guys, I cannot wait for this process to be done so we can get this darn scaffolding out of here because you know what it's become. Spencer's giant shelf. <laughs> you have a hole in your pants in the crotch. <laughs> this is not the angle to be filming you. I gotta make sure I'm zoomed out.
I didn't want to use this mesh screen one quite yet. I wanted to use just a regular traditional uh, flat sanding pad. But apparently the sandpaper that I have is not compatible with this uh, sander that I have. So I just have to go ahead and use this. Anyways, I'm, so I'm gonna start. I don't know what to expect in this whole sanding process. If it's Since this was just the pre-fill kind of big gaps, um, I don't expect it to be too bad, but I guess I'll find out. Not too bad, it's actually pretty smooth. Just a few high points, a couple high points right there. So let's see, uh, see how this turns out. This is gonna take forever. This is gonna go everywhere. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh man, this might be a little much for this drill. Oh goodness, okay. All right, back to the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Looking pretty legit. Ken's, what do you think? You look like you're about to go for one more bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start this whole uh, mudding and taping process and uh, Wish me luck. We need it. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Me too. Give this a shot. Oh, God. I'm already not liking this process. Now for the tape. I feel like such a noob. Keep up with the season Roll with it It's what I'm needing Friends close to I really need a reason Keeping the pace Till the song is over Keeping you Isn't it wild to think that this is how walls are made? Right. I had no clue this whole process that went into it. I know it's very soon into the process, but I'm pretty darn impressed so far. Like, I think it looks really good. I think that everyone telling us how bad it was going to be, it really kind of built it up in my mind that it's impossible to do unless this is what you do. Which is obviously not true, but... Yeah, my expectations were, were very low for this process.
How happy are you gonna be? Well, we don't have to have these refrigerant lines out here anymore. Pretty happy because that'll mean there'll be air conditioning. Air conditioning and you won't hit your head on them anymore. <laughs> so is that what the pros use? What? Toilet paper? Yes. <laughs> Was that funny? <laughs> I thought it was funny. It legit looks like you took some from a restaurant or something. A restaurant? Yeah, like a big thing of toilet paper. It's like that's not a normal size thing of toilet paper. Industrial size. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now the yard's all mowed. We're gonna start back on this dining room, which, by the way, the reason why we mowed the lawn is because Kim's afraid of snakes. Don't act like you're not scared of them. Mm, not like you are. <coughs> uh, it's not poisonous. Um, I don't care. <laughs> so, yeah, back on uh, drywall in the dining room. The master bedroom's all done, minus the Ledges, I gotta do finish the corners uh, up there, but um, I'm saving all the corners until the very end just to make it a little bit easier on myself. So I should be able to finish this up today and then start on the next one. What's the hardest part so far that you find? Roof. The ceiling? Roof, yeah. I was just about to go out and shower. <laughs> Definitely can't do that now. <laughs> Times like this that I really wish we were living in the house. I feel like we're in the movie Twister. shower right now and I always comes out with me you gotta wait here okay thank you buddy better hurry before it starts back up again normally I'm not seeing anything every once in a while 
I'll see a couple eyes staring back at me. Usually just a raccoon or a bunny or something. Every once in a while, I'll see some hogs. Don't look at the camera. <laughs> Don't look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to start. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, so I start right away? <laughs> yes. Like it's just, like I'm not even here. <laughs> So getting, <laughs> you gotta stop laughing. So starting in the <laughs> So starting in this clock. <laughs> Alright, let's just record normal. <laughs> <laughs>